Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Friday evening. It's five o'clock somewhere, and so we're going to get started here. We excuse uh, Dr. Maureen Hayes, who is on her way to London for a couple of weeks, and I'm sure she'll uh, get, get us on the rebound, but we're glad to have Don Lynn Dominguez uh, sitting in her place tonight as an able co-host and question asker -er. And so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll love to have that. Also, we've got Jim Glenn. I don't see Anne with you, but uh, if she shows up, we'll be there. Well, we're, we're getting ready to head out to actually Salt Lake, like okay. at 540 in the morning. So, and her brother's on her way in. So she's excused for the evening. No worries. We're glad to have uh, yeah. Jim. He is our financial uh, person, we call him, a retired stockbroker who's seen the merits of of what ASEA has done. And so we welcome him and his uh, sage oversight in that arena. Uh, we have a special guest with us tonight, uh, Kristen, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. I think I'm going to hand this right on over to Don Lynn, who is tasked with making that special introduction. Before we go there, I want to just begin the show tonight by giving a disclaimer. We are representing a company called ASEA. This is a company that is a cellular health company that chooses to market their products via a network marketing organization. This is a supplement and it's governed by FDA rules overlying the supplement industry. And as such, we do not make claims, we do not diagnose and we do not treat for we don't talk about specific diseases with uh, uh, medical. If you're on the chat tonight, you're welcome to ask some questions. Uh, realize that we cannot uh, answer to specific disease situations, so describe them and, and that's where we'll go. So I'm going to toss it over to our able co-host, Don Len Dominguez, uh, coming to us from the great state of Texas. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Um, I'm so honored to get to sit in for Maureen. Am I supposed to say it's five o'clock somewhere? Um, because she always does. But uh, I am thrilled to get to be here tonight and get to uh, interview Kristen Kahn's, who I have known for at least the past 10 years. Uh, I mean, nine, maybe 10. We met uh, before she uh, got pregnant with her first baby. And uh, she's nine years old now, right? So, yep. isn't that right? So, mm -hmm. um, so she was one of my clients. And because I was so uh, very focused on nutrition for my clients, when I found out what she did, and she is a nutrition therapist and a natural food chef, I had her come in and teach classes for my girls. And then we have quite a bit of story that happened after that as well, after her babies were born. So um, we, we've seen a lot of life together and I am so thrilled to have her on. She did um, this, worked in this in industry for the past 20 years and was on television for seven of those years uh, teaching about nutrition therapy. And so I am just very excited for us to tell, uh, to hear her story, to hear her experience and her expertise in all of this and what how ASEA fits in that now. So Kristen, take it away. All right. Well, just first of all, I just want to say thank you for having me on and thank you for doing this show week in and week out. Um, when I first got started in ASEA, this was just such a, a tool for me to learn about Redox and also just a tool to share with others so that they could learn about it. So it is just such a gift to all of us. I think everyone would agree and just want to say thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. And I took me three years, sadly, to um, click on a link to take a look at this product. I, after being on the TV platform, I was very jaded with um, the supplement industry. I had a consulting company where I worked with people one-on-one -on -one, and it just broke my heart seeing people spend so much money on products that were a lot of hype. And honestly, what upset me the most is just see people's um, hopes just crushed time and time again on their journey to getting well. 
And I also had a sneak peek behind the scenes of the supplement industry. And I saw that they seem to always put profit over people. So they would cut corners where they could and often in ways that the consumer would never know about. So that's why it took me so long to even, you know, click on a link. Cause I, I was just telling Jim before we got on, this is the product um, that I was looking for my whole life that I didn't think existed. So I wouldn't look at it. <laughs> and there it was right in front of my eyes. And that's kind of where Donna Lynn comes in the picture. She was my midwife and she delivered my two babies. And she was like a mom to me. Um, I, I love her. I trust her. And like she said, we always kind of had the connection um, of nutrition and loving to help people through nutrition and health. And so I would go and teach some classes at her birth center. And I invited her on the TV show to teach about healthy pregnancies. And we were actually um, getting ready to go on air. They were literally counting down when her phone rang. And she said, I have to get this. It's my doctor. And her doctor gave her the news that no one ever wants to get. And this part of the story that I'm going to share now, I did not remember until this summer, which was about a year and a half um, that I had been in ASEA. But Donna Lynn and I were together. She was in town doing a, um, a workshop with me. And um, just the Lord reminded me of it. And so um, Donna Lynn showed up at our church one Sunday and everyone was so excited to see her because she had delivered so many of the babies in our church. And when I finally got up to see her and I gave her a big hug, she grabbed my hands and she said, Kristen, I'm not, I'm not doing well. And I need you to be praying. And I kept on a brave face and, you know, we scheduled a time to talk nutrition and see what I could do to help. Um, and I gave her a big hug and I turned around and I almost lost it because little did she know the week before I lost a very, very close mentor to me of the very same thing that she was fighting and I was just heartbroken. And so when I turned around, I said, Lord, I need her. You cannot have her. And I don't know why I said that or why that came up out of me. Um, but now I know because it's four years, it was four years later that um, I never thought like we would be in business together, traveling across the country, changing lives. And so you just never know the power of a yes. You never know why things kind of um, happen the way they do. And I never in a million years thought that we would be doing this together, something like this. We both hated network marketing. So we'd absolutely never do network marketing. And here we are. Um, but it is, it's the best decision that I've, that I've ever made. And so, um, yeah, right after I said yes to ASEA, before I even received my product, um, I had two friends reach out to me that validated my decision to say yes, because it was a hard decision for me to say yes. Um, because like I said, I, I said, I'd never do network marketing uh, again. And my one friend called me crying and um, she was telling me uh, that her mom was just told that she had a month to live. And what did I have for her? And I said, well, this product just landed in my lap. I have no idea. Um, but it's worth a try. And her mom is still living today. And then my other friend um, told me her doctor said that she would completely lose her vision in three months. And again, you know, I said, this is probably not a coincidence, but this product just landed in my lap. I haven't even received it yet. And I told them both, you know, this product is not intended to treat, cure, diagnose, um, prevent anything but it does help our body do the healing that it was created to do. So she started taking the liquid and also putting the liquid in her eyes and she started having instant results. So things started improving, like her vision would kind of get more clear and then it would go back, but it was slowly, steadily improving. And then after about a year on the product, things took a turn for the worse and her eyesight started rapidly declining so much so that she had to take a leave from work. Um, she couldn't drive. She was learning Braille and she had to paint all of the rooms in her house a different color. So she would just know what room that she was in. Um, so it was, it was really bad. And 
And then at the last moment, just days before she was going to lose her job because she had been on leave for so long, um, she wakes up one morning and her vision is completely restored. And so she goes to her eye doctor. They can't figure out why this has happened. And so they're doing all of these tests, trying to figure out all this stuff. And then they realize that the eye situation that she had had since she was 12 years old, um, it's pretty common where the eye shape is abnormal and it can cause like vision and blurriness, um, distort, you know, your vision it had completely disappeared. And because of that, her vision was restored. Now she had a lot of other um, health issues um, that played with the, the vision situation, but it was that one thing that went away that restored her vision. Um, so I just wanted to share this testimony because um, I see a lot of people that are taking this product that you know they start to have good gains and all of a sudden, you know, they seem to start going backwards. And in my 20 years in the industry, I've never seen healing be linear. And maybe Dr. Osler can, you know, speak to this, but it always seems like it's kind of like up and down. And if you're doing the right things, it's slowly increasing, but it seems to kind of go back and forth, almost like the peel of an onion. And you're, you know, your body is dealing with one thing and then it gets to another level where it needs to deal with something else. Um, so I just thought it was a powerful testimony because if there's anyone that should have just thrown that product out the window, (laughs) it would have been her because, you know, it was working. And then all of a sudden everything just crashed and went in the wrong direction, but because she continued on with it, I do truly believe today that she has her vision because of it. Um, so you just never know. Do you by chance remember how much she was drinking at that time? And then I do want to ask you one other question. If you don't mind on that one. Yep. Yeah. So she, in the beginning, she was taking about 16 to 24 ounces um, wow. and she went on and off the liquid. Uh, so she was taking that and then she stopped taking the liquid, but the one thing, and then she would get back on it. She kind of went back and forth with it, but the one thing she never stopped doing was putting the drops in her eyes. And when everything took a turn for the worse, she was literally sitting in her house, um, you know, just dousing her eyes with this because she had nothing else to do. Um, And she would, you know, it would clear her vision for a second and then it would go away. And so it was kind of, but it would never last for longer than just like a second. Um, But then that one day that she woke up, it was completely clear and it's been perfect ever since. Wow. Um, I think we should stop the meeting now. Um, So, uh, Kristen, take us back a little bit Um, when and I'm assuming it was Don Lynn that shared this with you. And Don Lynn, I want to hear your side of this as well. But what made you say yes? Uh, You hadn't seen these testimonials yet. Was it just the word of a dear friend that but with your background, Mm -hmm. I, I would think that would be difficult. But yet then I now understand Don Lynn's background. So was that enough? Um. It was Donna Lynn because I knew and trusted her that I decided to take a look at it. Um, and when, once I found out it was not a nutritional supplement, meaning it had no food ingredients in it, no herbs, no foods, that's what caught my attention because I found over the years with um, nutritional supplements, which I love, um, but if, if someone's deficient in something, it's going to be, you know, amazing for them. But if they're not, they're probably not, you know, it's, it's just another supplement. And so when I found out this is native to the body, that was a game changer for me. And when I saw the ingredients, sodium chloride and water, um, turned into molecules that excited me because I'm always, um, my philosophy is simplistic. I think that we should be very simplistic with our health and just back to the basics instead of taking so many supplements and so many things, because it's really hard on the liver. Um, And I found a lot of my clients were taking all the right supplements and and doing the right things, but they weren't um, always having the gain in their health or getting over the hurdle that they needed to. So when I found out this is native in the body and this causes the body to heal itself, I, I was sold. Well, so, could I just interject? That's, that is a paradigm of the nutritionist 
um, yeah. arena, right? What you're just talking about. So that really wasn't a foreign concept you to start with, was it? No, not at all. Yeah. Right. So, but was it, did you do any of your own research? Did you go to, I mean, again, with your background, did you, did, were you a quick study? Did you immediately go to PubMed or Google Scholar or CSigns.com? Um, or again, is it, was it just the faith and trust in Donna Lynn? Um, no, I did. I went to PubMed um, and did some research. I watched the ASEA 5. I watched, you know, I, some of the tools um, I wanted to just listen and learn. And I knew, you know, going to Google that I was going to find a lot of garbage out there. And I've been in the industry long enough knowing that there's usually um, intent behind people trying to, you know, bad mouth a product. And some of those are rightful and, and you know, a lot of them aren't. But um, I, I did some research and it made sense to me that if we can supply something that we lose over time, starting at puberty and because of environmental toxins and food toxins and just with illnesses and all sorts of things, if we can, if we can replenish that, um, our body's able to do what God created it to do, to just heal. And so it just made sense to me. And I thought I'd try it. I mean, you know, I mean, everyone can be, you can be skeptical and be negative, but I thought this worked for Donna Lynn with a challenging, um, you know, health problem. And then it, what really caught my attention was the fact that there were a bunch of her young, healthy moms that wanted to take this. And Donna Lynn did that side-by-side -side study with the girls that took it and the girls that didn't. And that caught my attention. I'm like, okay, this can work for someone that's ill and this can work for someone that's young and healthy. And um, that just really caught my attention because I thought then everyone needs this. We all need this. Okay, so, but, and again, I, I, we get this a lot. They, they look at the bottle and they don't have your, your expertise, but it says it's a dietary supplement. How do you handle that? Yeah. I mean, I say that, of course, it's in the supplement, um, you know, category, but I love, like I just said, there's no nutrition in it. So these are live active molecules that are native to our body. And so we're just allowing our body to do what it knows to do. And then we need building blocks to help, you know, help with that. But the fact that it's um, two ingredients is a dream because the fact that this doesn't interact with any medications, you can't be allergic to it, you can't be sensitive to it. I would spend so much time with my clients going over what supplements are you taking? What medications are you taking? What are you sensitive to? What are you allergic to? And it's this big ordeal really to just make sure that you're keeping everyone safe and nothing's going to interact. And here's something that's 100% non-toxic and it can just help the body do what it knows to do. And so now I use it as the foundation. I won't work with anyone that's not taking this product because I, I think it's a disservice to them. I can't help them the way they need to be helped if they don't get the foundation strong. And then if they need something above and beyond that, then we can build on that over time. But this is the most foundational product there is out on the market. You don't get any more um, to the root of a cause than the cells. Wow. So if on that score, have you found in working with, with uh, your clients and the public that on ASEA, that they are able to reduce or fine tune or um, you know, systematize their nutritional approach, both, both with foods as well as supplements. Is that? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's so powerful because like? most people, yeah, most people will bring bags of supplements to me and people are just, you know, they don't know they hear, Oh, this is good for this. And this is good for this. And all of a sudden you look in your cabinet and you've got a hundred supplements and you're taking, you know, <laughs> you're taking it a hundred of every meal, you know, at every meal. Um, and they just, they think I just want to get well and they'll do anything. And like I said, I take all the, um, a C -A -V -A supplements. There's only four. Those are the four, um, types of supplements that I would always 
recommend for my clients. And when I found a C, I had only just the basics. I loved that. And so they were able to, um, you know, trade all the money that they were spending on supplements and change it over to Redox. So they weren't spending any more than they are already were. And then with nutrition, it helped to, um, it helped with sensitivities and all of the gut issues. You know, it, it helps the body to take care of that. So people that um, I was working with that couldn't eat anything, it's like they take one food group out and then, you know, then it's another one and then it's another one. And they're really left with nothing. Uh, and they react to everything when they started taking the redox, they had amazing results. And over time, it's a process, but over time, they're able to add in foods that they were, you know, very sensitive to and that they couldn't eat. And all of a sudden they were doing fine on them and they couldn't believe it because they, you know, they had tried everything. They tried the supplements and they tried the diet, but really it's the ASEA getting into that digestive pathway and really helping to fix the issues. Kristen, um, and I do want to, oh yeah, go ahead. Donnelly. I, I remember you telling me uh, with one of your clients that brought in the whole sack of supplements that you were able to look at the, and show her the bottle of like source and go, okay, take this one. You can eliminate these four, you know, I love that story of, and also how you explain that some of your clients, you could never help them really get well. But when you added the redox, it was the missing link, you know, which we hear all the time. But you proved it in your clientele. So I think that's yep. very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to say there's, um, I, I've had several clients over the years that have their favorite um, whole food powder that they add into smoothies and things like that. And those are amazing, but most of them have, you know, 150, 200 ingredients in them. And it's like all these vegetables and all these superfoods and all these things. And so looking at it, it seems like, why could, why could that possibly not be a good thing? And I would always challenge them, hey, just get off of that for a little bit and see how you feel. Because a lot of people were dealing with, you know, digestive issues and, and things like that. And some people would not, would not let it go, but then they would go on vacation or something, or they'd run out of it. And then all of a sudden things would clear up. And my point with the nutritional supplements and powders like these is that if you have leaky gut, um, you can be taking all of the right things, these nut nutrition, these good superfoods and things like that, but they can be inflammatory to you because they're leaking, you know, through your gut lining. And so something that you think is good for you can actually be causing inflammation within the body. And so taking the redox helps to just seal up that gut and helps the body heal in that way. So that, um, you know, because who would pinpoint, I got a, I got a food sensitivity test one time and it's all the foods that we always eat. And that's why people freak out when they get these food sensitivity tests is because it's all the food. So I was, I was sensitive to cauliflower, garlic, onions, a coffee, um, apples, like all these things that I would never think I needed to take out of my diet. If you said like, you know, what, what's the problem here? It probably wouldn't be those things. But I took those things out of my diet for a period of time. And that was before redox. Um, and it helped me because I, I had leaky gut and I had to work on my gut health. And so that's why the biome, the ASEA line biome, it's the very best probiotic I've ever used um, for me and my clients. And same with the redox, helping with that digestive health. Hey, hey Don Lynn, um, she told her story about how, you know, you came to her church and informed her and we didn't get to hear that from your side could you go back and walk through that again and, and describe what was happening with Kristen and maybe you as well you know in that exchange or interaction because that was kind of where she started to uh, get serious about things um yes uh 
I was very attached to that church. It was too far for me to attend regularly. But like she said, I think I, at last count, I had 22, 24 babies there. And it wasn't a great big congregation. So uh, I would go anytime they had a special speaker or whatever. And I got, got to see all my girls and all my babies. So it was always a delight. Um, and one of the, that time that I was visiting was just another one of those times. And I was so happy to see her and share with her. Um, but the interesting thing about the way she worked with me during that time that I was really trying to do everything and anything to get well. And so she worked with me nutritionally and then they moved Uh, I mean, it probably wasn't as sudden as it felt like to me, but they just, they were gone. They moved to Ohio and we were not interacting. Obviously, I had a lot going on. And then um, a little over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, she texted me or called me and said, do you happen to have that book? Uh, about the situation you were dealing with that I loaned you because it's the last one in copy and I, I can't get another and it was a personal gift to me. And I said, let me look on my bookshelf. I don't ever get rid of a book. So I went and I said, yeah, I've got it. I'll send it to you. And then I said, did I ever tell you what happened? And she went, no, I don't think you did. And she hadn't heard. So I told her my story. And of course, she was she was very interested. And I was just telling her my story to inform her. She was a prayer partner. She helped me every way she could. And so it was just for information. I wasn't thinking about putting her in the business because I knew what she did and how many uh, supplements she had access to just from working with her, like on that television show. And I said, I'll send you the information so that you can kind of check it out and never thinking she'd do anything with it. And she called me back. That was like on a Wednesday or Thursday, I remember, because I hurried to get the book in the mail before the weekend. She called me back Tuesday the next week and said, OK, I want to order this product. I want the biggest package and I want to do it as a business. And I'm like. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. I mean, knowing who she was, I knew it would be phenomenal to have her on my team, of course. And I knew how many people she could help because of the arena she worked in. So um, it was shocking to me, but of course, a thrill and, and a mutual friend of ours had shared with her before, like she said, but she wouldn't look at it because of all the reasons she said it wasn't anything against the friend. It was it was the industry and her exposure to the things that weren't right that kind of made her more or less jaded. And so I, I was the one that was blessed. She heard she heard it when I told her because of our experience together. And then when she did her own research, uh, she was in and she immediately began to get results with people like the ones she told us about at the beginning. So it's it's been fun to watch. And we we know, like so many of us know, when we're praying for something, Kristen, I want you to tell them. Uh, about your argument with God when he told you this was going to be the business <laughs> you were going to do. I think that is so funny. <laughs> we know yeah, so. thing, but she did argue. <laughs> I did. I um, was telling my husband, Brad, about Donalyn's testimony and what she had shared with me. And so then a few days later, we were getting ready to go to bed. And he said, did you sign up? I said, no, I didn't sign up. I am not doing network marketing. And I just started, like, I felt, there's no other way to, I just felt God say, I want you to say yes. And I just started crying. And I was like, God, <laughs> I will do anything else, anything else but this, please. Like you, you've given me a lot of different things to do. I don't want to do network marketing, but I knew that I knew that I knew that he wanted me to say yes to this. And so I had a decision whether to obey or not. 
And so that the next day I, I called Donald in and I, I said yes. And it was the best yes that, that I've said. Okay. I'm a new patient. I'm someone you're seeing. How do you explain this to me? There's a lot of people out there watching that really may not even know what we're talking about. Could you share how you share with a new patient or someone new that you're working with? Yeah. Um, I, I basically just say, you know, we start losing this starting at puberty and we lose it further with, you know, lifestyle and all sorts of things. And this is native to our body. And so we can replenish it and just help our body heal how it was created to heal. And I basically just say that. And, um, I say that it's just a starting, it's the most foundational thing that we can do for our health. And I just keep it really simple. I don't get too deep into science or anything like that because people just want to know what it can do for them. And so a lot of times I share Donna Lynn's testimony. I share my husband's testimony with, um, his back issues, which was um, not as severe as yours, Jim, but um, he, he was in chronic pain. Uh, and so I just share testimonies. I didn't have a testimony of mine, you know, in the beginning. So, um, kind of like Donna Lynn and Chris, Donna Lynn had really quick results and her husband, Chris, you know, it was like slower and he was continuing on. I, I was the same way. Um, my husband had quick results and I had, um, more slow results and even some, um, detox effects, I guess you would say. So, uh, yeah, I just keep it simple and just say, this is native to our body and there is no other supplement that is, you know, that we can take that's native to our body and that we can, um, you know, not tax our system by taking it. It helps everything that we do work better. It helps our supplements that we take work better. The nutrition that we're eating work better. So it makes everything work better. I was going to ask something. I was reading one of the questions. Um, I forgot my question. Donald, you got anything? <laughs> I, I, um, so I was just going to say, it could have been a really short book if I would have done what she just said. <laughs> well, I appreciate what you did, Dr. Lee. This Healthy Matters was so exciting for me when you came out with it because it helped to um, validate everything that I had been teaching for the past 20 years. And I knew now why, why it works is because it taps into those redox pathways. So um, it, it's such a game changer bringing in lifestyle along with this amazing supplement to really get the maximum benefits. So I'm excited to start teaching more about that. Thank you. So I, I, I remember what I was going to say. So were you going to say something, Donalyn, before I forget? <laughs> oh, you go ahead before you forget. Okay. I take more uh, stops than you probably. <laughs> oh hush. So uh speak to the healthy people. Speak to the people that go, hey, I'm not dealing with anything. What do you say to them? And or someone gets on it that you're working with and they go, Kristen, I, I don't feel anything. What do you say? Yeah. Um, by the time we feel something, there's some major issues. So there's a lot of things that we don't feel within the body that are not right. And so this redox is going all the way down to our genetic level, turning good genes on and bad genes off. You can't feel that. And so that, that double blind placebo study that they did where people took eight ounces for eight weeks, 100% of them had a change in their gene expression. So 100% of people do get results, whether you can feel it or not. That's not the point of this supplement um, is to feel it. It's always nice to be able to feel it. And a lot of people do feel it And it. I don't know why some people feel it instantly. And some people mm -hmm. it takes six months. I mean, I, I had a guy that was um, taking 16 to 24 ounces for six months before he had his breakthrough. I have no idea why he kept you know, pushing on, I would call him every week, just encouraging him to keep going, keep going. And finally he had that breakthrough, but it didn't happen for him in 90 days. It took six months. So we never know when our breakthrough is going to come. Speak to that. Um, people, I call them until people, um, they're not going to do anything until something happens. I mean, we all have things going on in our bodies that we're just not aware of. 
Uh, I guess it's just really, and I'm sure in your world, but uh, do people come to you when they're, um, they're desperate? They're they've they've tried all their all other avenues, uh, and then generally, how yeah. much do you recommend they start with, and then also maybe in ties with the nutrition? Because again, Anne's a nutritionist as well, uh, and she'll tell you pull a hundred nutritionists, they all have different opinions. Uh, on different things. So what is your basic guideline for people to start using ASEA and the VIA? And then maybe touch on uh, in a little bit on the cell performance as well. Yeah, I'm I'm the last resort girl. People come to me when they've tried everything, they've done everything, and they don't know what else to do. Um, and so adding in the the redox is a game changer. Um, sorry, what was, we, we had a lot of questions. <laughs> what was, what was the question? <laughs> how, how much do you recommend they start yeah. okay. taking? And then if they're on a bunch of nutritionals, do you have them, uh, Carolyn Hoffman will say they, they, they stop all other, not, not medications, but supplements, mm -hmm. uh, kind of you, you touched on that. The bodies, the livers can only do so much and you could really mm -hmm. overwhelm your body. So, um, yeah, I think there may be a lot of people out there buying stuff at the big box stores, thinking they're getting the best stuff on the planet, and maybe they're not. Definitely, yeah. I always start people on two ounces twice a day, and then doubling it, going up. I use, you know, what what Asia teaches about, you know, if you're under fifty and healthy, you take four ounces uh, a day, and if you're under fifty. With some health challenges, you can up it from there, maybe eight to 12 ounces. And then if you're over 50, it's eight ounces. If you are over 50 with health challenges, you can go up from there, 16 ounces. Some people say you don't need to go over 16 ounces. Donna Lynn, way more than that. Um, so it's just a personal preference. And you really have to find out what works for you. This is so individual. Um, I have had people take just four ounces um, that are in their seventies and have amazing results. Like I did not believe them that they were only taking that much and they had such breakthroughs in their health. And then I've had people, you know, have to take a lot more. Unfortunately, you know, I'm one that has to take a lot more and so is my husband. But, and I also find, and I don't know if you guys have found this, but different ethnicities um, have different like they can, some can take less than others. So that's been really interesting to me. I don't know what it is with the different genetics and things like that, but everyone's different. So I, I say to, you know, get to a dosage that you're seeing some breakthrough with your health, um, maintain that for a little bit, and then you can start backing down. I always say there's kind of like a loading dose in the beginning to start getting your levels back up where they need to be. And then, as I said, as you're seeing results, you can start backing down to more of a maintenance dose and um, and then play around with it. See how low you can go before you can tell a difference. Yeah. Um, because normally by then you can tell a difference in something, the way you're sleeping, your energy, your mood, um, just something. So everyone is so individual. I mean, it's across the board. So people just have to play with it. And I think that's where the magic happens. Hey, can you touch on that? Because I know as we get older as well, these molecules start their their natural decline. And so as we get older, should we be drinking more? Or how would you say to that? What would you say to that? Was that to me? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lee? Well, I agree with what Kristen was going to say. And that's, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> so the, the whole point is, is that as we get older, and Kristen touched on this sooner, you know, beginning at even age uh, 12 or 15, which is kind of a plus or minus puberty age, from there on, our signaling capacity is decreasing. We have to be careful. Some people talk about the, the signaling molecules, there are less of them. And I, I, I would rather characterize it and just say we're less able to signal efficiently as we get older. And that, that rate uh, decreases at about 1% per year. So that's a 10% per decade. That's a rough number, and so you can say if you're 50, then then you, you're 20 to 30 percent less efficient, you know, as a 50 year old than you were when you were a young person. And the whole point of replenishing with live, viable, reactive signaling molecules is that you're like it's like 
filling up the gas tank. You're replenishing the amount of signaling molecules, which are then going to enable the cell to function and do this gene response. When, when we talk about gene response, what we're really targeting is the cell's defenses. The, the gene expression of cell renewal, of cell defense, of antioxidant action, of autophagy, which is cleaning up the cell while you're sleeping, as it were. Um, all of those functions, the DNA repair, all of those anti-aging functions elevate when these redox-sensitive switches turn on and cause the genes to express the DNA activity that produces this result that keeps me functioning healthy. And in this whole arena of, of wellness and anti-aging that we're going to see a lot of press on over the next decade or two, this is, this is the next big um, uh, arena that healthcare is going to be marching into, certainly on the wellness side, is anti-aging or reversing biological time clocks and so forth. And really all they're talking about is enabling the cell to function at a higher level. I call it awakening the inner doctor. We're like turning this inside innate um, inherent ability that we have to heal or to recover or to replace, uh, to defend itself in the face of a world that has toxins. You know, Kristen mentioned earlier about uh, detoxing and there's, I, I, this isn't a magic number, but I'm gonna say 10%. There's, there's a number of people who when their cells begin working better, all of a sudden it's like their cells say, hey, we know how to take the garbage out. We can unload all of this bad stuff that we've been accumulating. And, and sometimes you kind of go through what some people might term a healing crisis or a, you know, a, a, a detox response. And you just kind of have to see your way through it through some strategy. And as you do and your cells begin functioning, suddenly it's detoxing, it's renewing, it's repairing. And that's then the result when, when she said that you don't feel something for you know years after cells started misbehaving. Well, we start to reverse that and gradually, eventually we can feel better, which is why some people, it takes a while. And, and the point there is we have this drug mindset. We think if I take an aspirin, my headache's going to go away in 30 minutes. And if I take a SIA, then I should notice something like within a day or two. And some people do, but that's not what this is about. As, as Kristen said, this isn't nutrition. We're, we're not supplying um, ingredients that have a drug-like lock and key receptor site you know, mechanism of action. This is a cascading electrical activity through the body that turns on, in an electrical sense, it turns on signaling capacity that will control gene up and gene down, expression and silencing when it's supposed to happen. So that's that's my take on that. Um, <laughs> when Don Lynn was in the beginning, uh, I know she really loved the taste. Uh, um, yeah, right. So... Can you explain why for some people it tastes like disgusting pool water and for some other people it just tastes like water? Some, it could be hydrogen peroxide. Why such a variance, Kristen? I don't know if I'd be the one to ask this question. I have no idea why. <laughs> I just think, <laughs> I think they, they say the worse it tastes, um, the more that you need it. And I, when I first got in and I heard that, I thought, is this a marketing thing for us to get to take more? But I was doing a fast. And on day two of my fast, um, in the morning, I took my ASEA and it tasted horrible. And I had this one client that was that would always tell me, she's like, I can't drink it. It tastes horrible. And I'm like, it's not really that bad. Like it does kind of taste like pool water. But she's like, no, it tastes horrible. And I just, I thought she was dramatic. But that's how it tasted to me. It tasted horrible. And so when your body needs it, so I'll know when I'm getting sick, if I take it in the morning and it tastes off to me and it does not taste like water, I double up that day because I know my body needs more of it. So why it does that? I have no idea. Dr. Osler, <laughs> probably. Don Lynn, how do you answer that? Because I know you experienced that in the beginning. So what do you tell people? Well, I, I tell them exactly what she said. I really believe, and I'm not, I'm not Lee, I'm not the scientist, he is, but I believe that the more our bodies are deficient, that the worse it's going to taste. Um, so I, I kind of encourage people to, you know, stick it out until it doesn't taste bad anymore, because then you'll know you're getting somewhere, even if you're not getting maybe the physical 
manifestations you wanted, you'll know that it's working and your body is beginning to have more redox signaling molecules to work with. It just makes sense to me that if we're very, very deficient and it tastes nasty as we fill that cup back up, it's not going to taste as bad because that was my experience. I, I was awful about how bad it tasted in the beginning. Um, but then once I started drinking it, and Jim, you know this, I drank a lot because I wasn't patient. I was just trying to prove it wasn't going to work and get rid of all that <laughs> product I had. And the more I drank, the less it tasted bad. So How long did that take, Donlin? Do you remember before it started um, tasting normal was, like water? Probably within the first two weeks. Okay. But, you know, I was doubling the amount that I had several times uh, during that time. And, Jim, if you don't mind, before I ask Kristen another question, I just want to address the couple of people on the chat that are asking. I'm just going to have you do that. Yeah. Um, I did use it for my pregnant girls. I, I educated them and let them choose. I practiced informed consent anyway with all the things um, that are recommended in pregnancy and they got to choose. It was their body, their baby, and that was the way I practiced and believe. So that's what I did with this, but I am a healthcare provider and the bottle clearly says that pregnant and lactating women should not take it without the supervision of their healthcare provider or physician. So I always recommend that you educate yourself, maybe take your upline, explain to your doctor what it is and what it isn't, and get his approval or change doctors. I don't know. I mean, it's your, your decision. It is 100% non-toxic. And I thought, what else do I have on my shelf that's 100% non-toxic? As far as what the amount they take, they're healthy young girls. I had everybody that wanted to take it do two ounces in the morning and two ounces in the evening. But of course, if they had a health issue before, when they got pregnant, your body gives all of its attention to growing a baby. So they might have to take a little bit more to keep the health issue from returning. So you need an upline or someone to work with. And of course, I want your doctor on board. But um, but this is just like when you're not pregnant. Minimal amount, unless you have a health is issue, then you can take more. It's non-toxic. It's not going to hurt to take more. You can't overdose. I've seen it improve mama's health, correct situations that were going south, and even babies in utero or inside your body, um, correct things that didn't look like they might be correct when they were born. And they were because she took redox. I can't prove that, but it's what I believe. So uh, I don't want to take Kristen's time talking about pregnancy. Well, well real quick, Donlin, just real quick touch on uh, children, because uh, I have seen a significant increase um, with children having health issues that when, when I was a child, they didn't have that. Uh, what is your suggestion, Kristen, as well, um, for children to take redox? I, I, I tell mamas with, I mean, I used it on newborn babies and saw amazing results. You use the gel? I use the gel. I use the okay. liquid Sometimes, you know, you can if they're if they have a condition in their mouth where it's got white patches, you know, sometimes babies have that and it can affect the nursing. Also, um, you can spray the liquid in their mouth, you know, um, and I've given them little droppers full. I had a baby that had some challenges from. Uh, whatever maybe it had been through since birth and mama started and it, it was causing the baby would occasionally have um, I don't know if we can say that word or not but situations that some adults have and um, they started giving her droppers full of redox and the occurrences have happened less and less you can use the gel on it 
baby's tummy for a tummy ache on its bottom for a diaper rash. You know, there's just, there's no, it's non-toxic. There's nothing you can't use it on. And I've not seen anything that it didn't help. So uh, during pregnancy, after pregnancy and for newborns, it has been an amazing gift. I always tell people the first thing you do when something goes wrong is think, how could I use redox to correct this? And which one should it be, the gel or the liquid? So, Kristen, you tell. Kristen, yeah. yeah, what do you say, Kristen? Yeah, I, I give it to both of my children. Um, I give them about an ounce a day and more, you know, when they need it. But there was, you know, something going through the school and everyone was sick. And everyone kept asking me, you know, why aren't your kids getting sick? And my kids do get sick. They were, they were sick this past week. But, um, but it really does it helps with that. And, um, we use the gel for everything. The kids now just go and get the gel when they need it and they know how to use it. <laughs> so, um, they, they know it helps. And, you know, my son still fights me on taking the, the redox liquid in the mornings, but, um, but they both take it and it helps. Yeah. So I think kids I wanna... even need it. Yeah. Uh, even yeah. even though they start, you know, we start losing it at puberty, there there's such an onslaught of our systems with what we all deal with. And so I think just as a preventative measure, I just help think it helps kids to be healthy as well. And a lot of kids are dealing with serious stuff these days. Well, how many kids are dealing with stress, right? I mean, over the Absolutely. last you know, two, three years. Uh Lee, can you uh Chris, I want to come back to you um regarding the cell performance. But Lee, why isn't this an FDA regulated product? Well, and we could reverse engineer that and just simply say it's a supplement. So it is regulated by the FDA to that degree, but it is not a drug. Um, this was slated to be a drug. This the original bioresearch company that was um developing the technology and the science behind this, we're aiming at some pretty significant medical diseases uh, as, a, as a treatment for this. And they were, they were courting um, the big pharma marketplace, thinking that this would be any, uh, one of those things they could develop and flip and then go to the next deal. And in the process of proving their safety data, uh, they were unable to obtain what's called an LD50, a lethal dose 50 certificate, which means uh, that you know, every, every drug agent has to increase the dose until 50% of the lab animals perish. And then you know what the LD or lethal dose 50 is or 50%. And then you can move forward and it can be a drug. And so the fact that they couldn't do that was a big roadblock for them in moving this project forward. And so basically, the company was uh, going into some financial distress. Uh, people like Virtus Norton came along and saw what they had and said, I think that this is, um, there's something to this. They put a team together and stabilized the molecules. That was one of their big problems. These are reactive molecules uh, in the body. They're made in the mitochondria. In the lab, they're made in an electrolysis chamber. But they're reactive and bioidentical nonetheless. So they had to stabilize it first, and that's what that was what the that was what was missing was the ability to stabilize reactive molecules so that there was a shelf life. Once that was accomplished, then we had a product, and then we went back to the FDA and got approval as a supplement. And so the 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 silver lining in that whole story is that had we been a drug, had this gone through the normal big pharma side of it we would have been approved for one indication. That means one disease or one condition that we could have spoken to. I mean, it probably would not have wound up in our hands. It would have remained under the hands of physician supervision and infusion centers or hospitals or, or you know, doctor's clinics. Um, and it would have been very controlled and it would have been highly expensive. People who complain about the expense of this don't understand that in my view, this would have been thousands of dollars for a treatment to use this uh, otherwise. And so we're sitting here with a uh, publicly available over-the-counter <clears throat> distribution network modeled company that allows us to speak to every cell in the body because it affects every cell in the body and every condition that could affect the body is benefited when the cells that underlie those conditions are improved. So we have wide berth in our ability to speak about it 
um, to other people and to and that's why the everybody has a different story is because everybody has a different problem uh, uh, you know a different situation based on their family history and, and their medical history and so forth so that's that's why I'm really glad you know for one that this didn't go that route and that we have access to it in this way so real quickly um, that is why we cannot name any issues right because why why Correct. Because otherwise, we would be treating this as it were a drug. The FDA and FTC would be looking at this and saying, now you're acting like a drug and you're making claims and you need to go support that with $10 million and 10 years of research so that you can put that on the side of the bottle like, like it would be a drug. And that's not what this is. And thankfully, our, our corporate leaders uh, have the vision and the wherewithal to say, we need people to have access to this globally. We want this out now, and we don't want to wait 10 or 15 more years for the science to catch up with us. It will eventually. But we want this the market to have uh, you know, access to this now and, and not just one indication at a time. And that's why we're careful to speak about this in terms that don't make it be a drug. And I'm going to throw my little two bits in on that. Um, guys, if you're, if you're tied to the company as an associate, take all this to heart. And do not go out there, even when you're talking one-on-one -on -one to someone, do not name diseases. Don't get anybody used to naming a disease. Keep it using more adjectives, like with my back issues and the, the pins and needles that I had in my left leg for years, uh, the things I had floating in my eyes. I mean, all these different things, but we cannot use medical terms. Done. Kristen. Cell performance. Now, next week, guys, we do have Henry Lopez and two other uh, on his staff. Uh, where we are going to go into a lot of detail on cell performance. Kristen, with your background, what is your opinion about these three mind, mood, and energy cell performance drinks? Yeah, I absolutely love them. The Powered by Redox is so powerful because, again, like the liquid ASEA, it's tapping into our cellular pathways um, the, the liquid is signaling, but it's helping our body to heal. And this is tapping into our cellular pathways, which again is creating balance within the cell to let our inner doctor, just as Lee says, do what it knows to do. But we get instant results with these things, instant results, but cumulative benefits over time. And so that's so powerful because like the, the energy, you know, we drink a cup of coffee and um, you know, we get that instant energy, but then it goes away and there can be issues with coffee. It can burn out our adrenals if we do too much. Um, but then this redox energy, you're getting that even sustained energy for five to six hours. And if you've got a problem with your, your energy, it's fixing that root problem that's causing the energy issue to begin with. So when, when we're extra tired, when you do too much coffee, you wake up the next day feeling horrible, more tired. Um, and then it's just this cycle of doing more and more coffee. But with these, um, you can, you can, you can fix a, you know, a bad night's sleep or an energy issue, um, and be gaining your health rather than trying to play catch up. And, um, I don't know, I could go on and on. I know we're kind of out of time with this, but the fact that it taps in and doesn't just help there's ingredients in these like with the mind that doesn't just help with um, our brain, it helps with heart issues. So that's what Powered by Redox means. It taps into all five major areas of our health. And it's, there's not, supplements don't do that. That's what, that's the power of Powered by Redox. Okay, something, a word that you said, I think is one of the most critical words that we could educate people on. You said cumulative. And it's not just with, the cell performance, this with the entire VIA line, and it's more so as well with redox. Could you explain that real quick? Yeah, the, the longer- It get better and better we, and better. It does, it gets better and better. And, you know, I, I really look at everything that ASEA has as a system because there's ingredients in the ASEA VIA line that help the cell performance be more effective. And then of course the liquid redox helps everything be more effective. So using these all together, I mean, they work amazing on their own, 
but using them all together is a game changer. It's really powerful. Um, but yes, cumulative, the, the longer that we nourish ourselves and we do the right things, we're going to have better health. Lee, can you touch on that real quick or Donalyn? I'm sorry. I was just going to ask Kristen, because we are kind of out of time with your expertise and your experience in the health arena. When you look at this overall system that ASEA has put together and the way they have everything balanced and working synergistically, where do you think this product and this company is going in the future with what they've got their hands on and what's to come? Tell us what you think. Yeah, I mean, it does just keep getting better and better with this cell performance line, with the skin care. Um, they're, they're dealing with the root of our issues, which is so powerful. And we have something that no one else has. Um, it truly is changing lives in, in big ways. And so the more that we share, the more people can get helped and it's spreading fast. And I'm so excited about this and shows like this um, to help educate people. It's a big deal. Um, you know, I, I didn't want to get in network marketing and I, I didn't want to be chasing after people. And this is not what that is. We have such a gift and it is a responsibility for me now to share this with people because I know people like Donna Lynn, who I love if she, you know, she probably wouldn't be here today without this product. Um, so this, this is an amazing company with life changing products. And I just see, you know, I just see it going so far and impacting lives around the world like it is, but continuing to grow. Awesome. I, I want to show someone a picture or show a picture. I've showed them before. Um, I asked this young lady if she would ever stop taking ASEA. And, and that's Josie Aranda in El Paso, Texas. And that's four weeks. Now, I'll challenge anybody that you have to take a before picture because you will not believe the difference. And she flat out said when she took the after picture that it didn't work. And her husband lovingly agreed. It didn't do anything, honey. Now, guys, I have asked her this really silly question. Will you ever stop taking the molecules? Because, Lee, what would happen to her if she stopped? Well, we know from the gene study that you revert back to baseline. You're just going to continue to age. Do you want to look younger or older? <laughs> it's really that simple, right, guys? Um, Kristen, this has been a blast. I do believe we're going to have you back if you're willing to come back. Uh, you've got so much wealth of knowledge and so much more we wanted to dig into actually with the nutritional line as well. Don Lynn, all, always awesome having you with us. And Dr. Lee, you're the best. So guys, this will be up on redoxmatters.com in a matter of about an hour or so. Does it take a little bit longer, Lee? I'll get it to you in about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's about 60 to 90 minutes. Usually it'll be on redoxmatters.com in the video section. Yes. And um, we always recommend going to amazing, if you're brand new, we always recommend going to amazingmolecules.com and then also to aseascience.com and then redoxmatters.com. Uh, get back to the person that brought you on the call. What's the worst thing that can happen? It makes you better, makes you younger and healthier. So, guys, thank you so much. God bless. And we will see you next Friday with Henry Lopez, uh, the creator and the developer of Cell Performance. So, thank you, guys. God bless. Thanks, Don Lynn. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, Kristen. Bye, everybody. Bye. See Thanks, you guys. guys. Bye. Bye.